Jag here, yet another three string cigar box guitar listen. It's Mountain and Mississippi Queen. Rock and blues, we're tuned open G. That's an A string tuned down to G. A D string tuned normal to D. And a G string, or third string tuned normal to G. G, D, G. Lots of distortion on this one. So this one's pretty easy. You're gonna be doing lots of bar chords. And we're going to start out so i'm playing the open string open g and i'm going to play on the second string then i'm going to play the second note which is going to be an a note then i'm playing the top string or the open g so it's i'm going to be all the way up here on the ninth fret So if you use your fingers, the easiest way to do this is use your thumb on the third string, and then you hammer, and then you use your first finger on the first string. And I'm using my third finger to fret all the way across. The gist of the song right there it's just three chords and it's a typical blues but it's a kind of a rock and blues all right so what we're doing is just one finger bar chords we're going to be doing the third finger on the fourth fret and the first finger on the second fret and then we're going to be using your third finger up here on the ninth fret and the seventh fret so when you start out the song I'm playing the open G string, and then I'm playing the other open G string after I do a hammer on. So thumb on the big string. If you use your fingers, you can use a pick as well, of course. Now, when you play that first string, you don't want to be hearing that note. So you want to hear gonna slide down there on the ninth fret. So this is how I do it. It's kind of fast. So when you hit the open G string, the first string, that gives you time to go all the way up here. And it is quick. It is right there. Ooh, that wasn't so good. Now you can also use your nail. This is real common with acoustic guitar players, but it's also becoming very common on cigar box guitars. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my nail. It gives it a real nice bright kind of a punchy sound so when you play the open G string it gives you time to get up here so the main part of this song is the riff the cool thing is you have the open G chord in between which makes it sound really cool so I'm up here with the first finger on the seventh fret 
and I'm hammering to the third finger on the ninth fret. Now what's that? So you're playing the seventh fret and the ninth fret and then the open G. Back down to the seventh fret and back up to the ninth. All right, so from the top. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Butter da, butter da. That's the entire song. It's a typical blues, and you're just doing that same riff throughout the whole song, and there's some solos in there too. So when you start out, that's the main riff, and then you're gonna walk down. So let me show you this little riff here. When you do that part, you're playing the open G. So let's say we're going up here. So, and you're also doing that down here. This is a little tricky. You don't have a lot of room to slide down. You got one fret. One more time. And you do the same thing up here when the song starts out. So you're just kind of repeating in the different locations up here. So real slow. the whole rhythm of the song right there. So how would you play a solo and what key is this in? That's the key right there. So this is a G, that's an F, so that's E. G, A, B, C, D, E. But your first finger is on the D. And you're hammering up to the E. There's not a whole lot of room to slide down. So that's the entire rhythm part of this song. 
But how do we play a solo, Jag? So we're in the key of E, right? <laughs> Put your first finger on one nine. This is only one place, but we'll start out here. So your third finger is on one twelve, and your first finger is on one nine. And you play the same pattern on the second string and the same pattern on the third string. We can also go up here. So I've got my first finger on 12 and my third finger on 14. So it's 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. And that's exactly the lick that he played in that song. But he's not playing a cigar box guitar, I can tell you that much. But that is the exact same scale. You can also play the in-between notes, don't forget. Jang, I thought that was a box. I thought your pentatonic was dink, 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 dink. Three, one, three, one, three, one. Third finger, first finger. What? Can you, what? Those notes are not in the scale. Nope, they're not. You're correct, but they are passing notes, so check this out. I'm gonna play the box. I'm going to do some bending. That all sounds pretty normal, right? Nothing earth shattering. You've heard that 300 trillion times. Now watch this. In between notes. Oops, I missed that one up. If you want to get fancy, throw those in-between notes in, do some pull-offs. Well, what else can I do, Jay? Right here. It's not really a full pentatonic. But I'm in that E box, right? Now. Right there, Jay. Holy crap. Right, so here's your B. Here's your A. Your box is right there. with that check out my website jagshouse.com cigar box guitars since 2004 please subscribe we'll see you next time